Can you believe this beautiful hardware you're seeing is not vintage hardware? Let me show you how I achieved the look. Since I couldn't find hardware for this project, I ended up buying new hardware at Home Depot. It was not the greatest color. In fact, it was kind of like an 80s gold. See? Yeah. So it really didn't work on the piece that I wanted. So I decided, like I do with everything else, if I don't like it, I'm going to paint it. I used DIY Tarnished Pearl. What's so great about DIY paint is that you can paint it on any surface, even metal, and uh, it just took two coats. So the next step is to distress it to make it look old. I use disinfectant wipes, and all you do with the disinfectant wipe is you rub right over where you painted and depending on how hard you rub or how light it'll show you how much distressing you get you just keep doing it and see what you like if you do a little too much distressing don't worry it's just paint you can always paint over it Wet distressing is really that simple. You just literally take either a wet rag or I use disinfectant wipes and you just rub it and you get it to where how much you like. A little bit too much distressing, it's not a problem. You add more paint. If it's not enough, you rub a little harder. It's really impressive that DIY paint is all natural and water-based, so wet distressing is so much easier. You don't have to distress with tons of dust and dirt. It's a pretty simple process. new hardware that's kind of looking all vintagey and cool looks like it's got some old paint on it many layers that's been worn away and now that the paint and the distressing have dried I'm gonna apply DIY clear wax as my sealer and I don't know why but a lot of people are scared of wax and it's like one of the simplest things you can do um, I have my DIY paint wax brush that I'm going to be using and literally I can dump, dip it straight in. Some people like to offload it onto a plate and this holds a ton of wax. You literally just brush it right on. It's that simple. And then you've got a good coat that's going to seal and protect. If you get too much wax, all you do is you brush it or you wipe it right off. So if your brush can't get it, if you got some globbies, just go back over it and wipe it off. Once this dries, you want to give it another final buffing to get a good shine on it and you can attach the hardware and it's ready to go. Okay, the wax has dried and you can really tell, I mean it kind of, it seems to like dull down. There's kind of a color change that takes place when the wax dries. All you need is a cloth. Make sure it's lint free. You don't want to get little pieces of lint all over whatever you are buffing. And you can just rub it like this and buff until you get a really nice shine. I don't know if you can see, there's that shine. It's as simple as that with wax. I can hardly wait to attach this to the piece of furniture. Did you like this video? If so, make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. Thank you so much. If you've tried this and painted your own hardware, comment below. Let me know how you did. When you're done with your wax brush, let me just give you a tip. 
I rarely wash out my wax brushes. I just put it right in a Ziploc bag and it keeps it fresh and good. I have a whole bunch of brushes that are in Ziploc bags just waiting for my next project. And if it gets really grungy, that's the time to wash it. But this is a good tip to save you some time and some energy.